What's brewing, everyone? Will here, and welcome to There Came an Echo. So, this is a game I've actually wanted to play for some time. Um, it's a military simulator, <clears throat> and uh, one of the voice actors in it is actually Will Wheaton. Go, Wesley Crusher. Um, <clears throat> so, this game looks really fun. I am really interested in this one. I've been interested in this for quite some time, and I finally remembered it and came back to it. <clears throat> so I wanted to check it out with you guys. Uh, this game is really unique because it actually uses voice commands in order to play the game. You don't use controls, you use voice, prom voice commands. So you'll be hearing me saying a lot of the commands in order to actually do things. Um, I've already set everything up. I went into the war room just to check it out and see how it, it works, make sure it works right. Um, this will be capturing at 30 FPS. Uh, that's because the game actually locks at 30 um, FPS. So, there's that. Mm. Coffee. Alright, so let's get in there and let's check this out. Boop, boop, boop. Here are some tips to ensure the best possible user experience. While playing, there came an echo. Use a headset microphone for high quality audio. Don't have one, sorry. Enable push to talk in the options if you're new. Yeah, Seriously, don't yell. Yeah, if it goes into the red, um, they actually won't hear you. I was having some issues with getting them to respond to my commands. You never asked me to do anything like this. Iridium Studios presents. Now. I can't keep them at bay for long. He didn't do anything wrong. This is no longer a matter of ethics. A different sort of game. I know. Remove him from the game. I'll take care of it. Ensure Starring Will do. Wheaton. We gods do not play at dice. Ashley Birch. <laughs> Laura Bailey. Yuri. Oh, hey, Yuri. He's in this. Oh, that's awesome. Another voice actor I know. I'm just gonna throw this out here, out there. I think um, Jack Septicai would actually probably enjoy this, just based on the uh, voice actors. Lead concept artist. Oh, everything about this is so gorgeous already. Jesus. Uh, right. Can we get? I I don't want to go through the. You know what? I will add out the rest of the credits. Or maybe I won't. <clears throat> it looks like the intro is almost over. She's always watching. Really? There came an echo. <laughs> All right. So what do we got? Can you hear me? You should say yes or affirmative. Affirmative. Anyone there? Affirmative. Affirmative. Yes. Okay, we're online. I'm Val. I'll take care of primary communications with the field. All right, all right, dude, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> that's the easy part. You lucked out. When you issue a command directly to a field unit, all right. you say the name of the soldier and then the command. It's pretty simple. Try saying, Val, stop talking. Val, stop talking. Val, stop talking. Val, stop talking. Mm, no, but good job, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I should probably tell you now. 
We have to help this guy. His name is Corin. We need a view of his office. It's to the south. Designs a little tacky. Go ahead and move the camera by moving the mouse to the edge of the screen. You can also zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. Enhance. All right, that doesn't work. <laughs> There's supposed to be a zoom command, so. All right, so we need to find Cronin's office, which that is Mr. Will Wheaton. He doesn't have a receiver, so we're just going to have oh, to Oh, there he is. Hope he picks up. You know, um, we're going to have to do some on-the-job training. We're out of time. They're here. Let's dial a cell. Hello? Did you know that there are men coming for you? Yeah, you got the wrong number. Huh, I guess he doesn't like advice. Hello? Corin, you should really listen. It's not a wrong number. Well, I don't want to buy anything, so... Corin Webb, 27 years old, employed at Ignite Defense in Santa Monica, California. Developer of Radio Lock. You're in your office at the moment. There's a half-full coffee cup to your right and a pen holder with three pens in it. One of them is missing a cap. Who is this? Someone watching a screen on which four very unfriendly-looking men are heading up to your office. Jesus, what? What do they want with me? Radio Lock. It's an open-source algorithm. You can look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, sorry. I need to use complete sentences. They want you to break Radio Lock. It can't be broken. The problem with all locks, Corin, is that they were made to be opened. There isn't even any hardware that can run it. I, I, I can go with them. Explain they're why- They're not here to talk, Corin. And when they're done with you, they'll probably kill you. Not for fun, even though it might be fun. Why should I listen to you? How do I know you're not lying to me? You don't, Corin. But you have 50, no, 48, 47, uh... Alright, this is kind of an interesting <laughs> one so far. So, let's see here. Let's yeah. see where this goes. Where do I go? My friend here is going to tell you what to do. Just listen and you'll be fine. Hopefully. Okay, here are the would-be assailants. One. Right now, you need to get Corn out of his office to a safe location. There's an empty office down the hall, number 623. To issue a movement command, you need to call Corin's name, then the command move to, and then the oh. location in question. Go for it. Alright, so this is going to be fun. Move to office two. <laughs> move to office 623. All right. The code to the door is 109324. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Matrix reference. Jesus Christ, you're weird. So timing is important here. We have to stay out of sight. For time critical situations, you can follow a command with on my mark. Then as soon as you say mark, they'll execute the action. When it's clear, get Corrin to the stairs in the northeast corner. Use the on my mark command along with the move. All right, so we have to go northeast corner? Where's this? That's that, that one. All right. Move to the northeast stairs on my mark. On my mark? Seriously? I'm a cryptographer, not a marine, you idiot. Mark. Oh, you can say pause game if you need to take a break. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um... Corin, get the hell out of my office! Not now, Darren. Get off the phone! You think your overrated code gives you some special access pass? Darren, I swear to God, not now. Darren, stop! Can I get Marshal or Todd in here? Mr. Webb has repeatedly shown disrespect for both my work environment and oh my personal God. affairs. I think it's time to... What? They're coming! Which way? Oh my god. Pause game. Pause.
Give me something. Oh, shit. Well, that fucking sucked. Let's try this again, shall we? Which way? Go left. Go left. Go left. Give me something. Oh my god. Coming. Which way? Go left. Or not. <laughs> Let's try a different direction, shall we? Which way? Go right. Gonna need another decision here. S go straight. Or not. Oh boy. <laughs> this is hard. Which way? Go. Go right. Gonna need another decision here. Go left. God damn it, that son of a bitch. Give me something. Go right. They just stop at the stairs. That's great. <laughs> All right, that was interesting. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate when I'm less about to be kidnapped and murdered. <laughs> yeah, right. If you need corn to suddenly stop moving, like the statues. Just say hold position. Hold position. Okay. Or not. Corin, all you need to do is head down to the third level of the parking garage. From there, we can get you to. No. <laughs> what? Look, no offense, but I have no idea who you are or why you called me. I'm going to the police. That's a bad idea, really. Just awful. Save it, lady. But thanks for the help. That's a shame. Hmm. Idiot. I'm calling him back. Damn it. It's sh Shut up and listen. There's a black sedan waiting for you on parking level three. Its Ugh. rear passenger side door is open. You need to hurry. I don't think... I don't think I can. You can follow our orders this time, Corrin, or you can get yourself killed. Your call. Ah. Ooh. He just barely survived that thing. <laughs> Take the took the red pill. I just got a matrix referenced achievement. <laughs> Alright, this game so far is pretty cool. I like the concept behind it. I'm okay. Thank you. You're you're welcome. I'm shot. I think I need a doctor. You're fine. That wasn't a bullet, that was pulsed energy direction. You were electrocuted pretty badly, but it was a glancing shot. It's actually really cool technology. They accelerate hydrogen ions to I don't care. I care about where this car is going, uh, who those people were, and who you were. Seriously, this is... I'm interested in the story now. I don't know what's going on. This is not what I expected. I expected, like, a sci-fi uh, military game. Not what's happening so far. But if you think you can keep Corin, shut up. Listen to me. Your algorithm is helping to protect a very dangerous piece of data. Really dangerous. No, it isn't. I told you before, the hardware needed to run Radio Lock doesn't exist. Yes, it does, Corin. Hmm. If the hardware exists... It does. If, then can't you... I don't know, blow it up or something? 
Even if we knew where it was, a system like that would have remote servers in place to mirror the data. We need to find the access terminal, and then you need to break Radio Lock. Okay, stop. There is a mathematical proof showing why Radio Lock is numerically impossible to break. It cannot be done. They aren't going to stop. And why, may I ask, are you so keen on springing to my aid? I can't say. Knowing any more could put you in danger. No need to pile on, I say. Hmm. Hmm. So you'll help? Thank you, Square. <laughs> I'm helping myself. <laughs> and what's your name, by the way? I like Val. I'm Alrighty. Val. Nice to meet you. And your partner? That's Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi. Sam's a little shy, like I used to be. Oh, Jesus Christ. So what now? <laughs> We're heading to LAX, then to Seattle. We have a safe I responded a couple of times. Area who might have some information. Yes, once was with the, the twice with with the bad joke, but that's not the point. Happy birthday. Put it on. <laughs> Done. And is all this military code crap really necessary? I'm sorry, it's up to Sam. Sam, if you want to change commands, you can do that in the settings interface. Things just tend to go wrong at airports. Yes, they do. <laughs> uh, you don't absolutely need to say all parts of a command. For instance, Cronus Alpha 3 works just as well as Cronin moved. Oh, oh, that'll make life easier. Your flight leaves in 40 minutes. Gate 33A to Seattle. All right. Reynolds, status confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That was great. Have a nice flight, Mr. Webb. This is for real, huh? I would think the shooting and the running and the yelling should have indicated. That was rhetorical, Val. Did I get an exit row? Nope. <sighs> and you're in the middle seat. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Corn, we've got incoming. Get to the men's bathroom now. You wait, what the bathroom? Everyone out of the terminal! Just go! There should be a duffel bag under the rightmost sink. There's a power pack and a gun in it. You've got to be kidding. How did they find you so quickly? He's still in there somewhere! Sam, tell him to put his shields up. How the hell do I do that? Oh, uh, there's a little red button on the bottom of the gun. Corn, shield up. Shields up. Shields up. Corn, sh Corn, Corn, shields up. Corn, shields up. Oh my God! Shields up. There are options to do that, but I'm trying not to use those. All right, Sam. I've marked a note on the map. His glasses will let him know where it is. Hey. Shots won't bring down the shield, right? Your shield stay up until your energy runs out. Yeah. Won't do much. All right. Corin Alpha One. Corin Alpha One. Now what? Hmm. You have a gun, and they're shooting at me. Sam, give him a hint. Open fire. It won't kill them, right? Not unless you're within a few feet. Just shoot. Sam, he's horrible at this. Tell him to switch targets. Switch targets. Focus fire two. Got one. Focus fire one. Sam, one of the enemy soldiers is flanking Corin, making his cover useless. Issue a retreat command. Retreat. Jesus Christ! Corin, we've got two shielded soldiers incoming. Your shields are stronger, so you should be okay. Should? And I'm running out of room here, Val. Yeah, um, working on that. Corin, Alpha 3. Corin, Alpha 3. You can flank the enemy here and increase your accuracy. Move over to Alpha 3. Corin, Alpha 3. They've got a whole squad coming into the terminal. You need to move now. But there's only now. 
There's nowhere to go, Val. He went down the jet way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was what good. What are you waiting for? Pull the trigger, Corin. What? Corin, you have to. I can't. I can't kill someone. Well, at least wound him. Shoot! I... Damn it. Corin, get out of there. He didn't look very cool, but he probably still has friends. Fire on four. What are they waiting for? I don't know. Oh boy. Corin Webb. I'm unarmed. I just want to talk. Corin, I know you don't want to kill anybody, but she is a really good person to kill right now. You've been shooting an awful lot for someone who just wants to talk. My men can get a little overzealous, I admit. I will open fire if you get any closer. Based on one of my subordinates' reports, I'm not terribly worried. This is in your best interest, trust me. Corin, don't! What do you want? We need to get out of here now. Excuse me? We've only got a few seconds. I told them I was negotiating. When they realized... Okay, I'm not buying the double agent line. Alistair, front and center, soldier. Put your shields down, Lieutenant. Ma'am? Shields down. You said you were unarmed! I lied. You can come with me or be here when the smoke clears. Oh boy. Your call. Corn, you can't just this way. There's no plane! We don't know who that is. We're what? That's a 20 foot drop on the concrete. 17 feet. Roll when you hit the ground. <laughs> she might end up being a bad guy, but I like her already. Let's move. They're right behind us. Oh, Jesus Christ. I highly advise you to separate yourself from this woman immediately. She's fine by me at the moment, Val. You better run, Junior. I will blow out the back of your skull before I let them get their hands on you. So move. I'm, I'm trying. On the chopper, move. This That's a cool time. chopper. Adam, you ready to go? Good to go, sweetie. Get us in the air and don't call me that. <laughs> All right, that's a really cool chopper. I like that a lot. Why didn't you kill me? I beg your pardon? You said you'd rather blow out the back of my skull All than right. let them capture me. Seems I'm not like sure where I should stop. I don't want to do that. Just it doesn't feel like there's an yeah. like a and natural break point like yet at least. Wait, you're a mercenary? I hate that word. I'm a professional soldier. My task was to join ranks with Farrick, locate you and then protect you at any cost. Well, <laughs> not any cost, just the amount I got paid. Farrick? Heather Farrick, the one who's trying to kidnap you? Your fairies must not be very well informed. I think they are, but they don't seem much for sharing. <laughs> Figures. So you're a code breaker, right? Code maker. Hmm. But I don't know how you or they found out about Radio Lock. I published it anonymously. Pause. Anonymously? Wouldn't the recognition be good for your career? Pause. In, uh, all right, doesn't want to pause. Convinced me otherwise. And besides, a quantum algorithm which requires quantum computing. We were supposed to be decades off from that tech. My fairies say otherwise. Uh, I don't know much about Farrick, but she isn't crazy. If she wants you that badly, it's real. So, if you were paid to protect me... I don't know who he is. He did the whole Charlie's Angels thing. I just know he's rich as God. Well, you know, if God existed. There's nothing besides protect me. Until when? Just protect me. When I see that many zeros in my bank account, Junior, I shut my mouth and do as I'm told. Speaking of which, debrief me on the attacks at Ignite Defense. Debrief? Uh, just say... Uh, I'll do it. Give her the glasses, please. But wipe them off first, that's gross. 
She is bizarre. And no. No? I'm not letting you run around aimlessly trying to hack in some terminal. You were hopeless back at LAX. You're gonna get yourself killed. We're going into hiding. Farrak has access to uncountable resources, and I can count very high. If we stand still, she'll find us. Probably. Then we stay on the run. We're two people. Uh, three. We don't have the manpower or intel to do any damage. I don't know why you're trying to help them, Val, but you're doing a thoroughly awful job so far. We can avoid their forces for a little while, mercenary, but they're not going to stop. Ever. Heather is... persistent. Yeah, she is. You have a weapons cache? We're heading there now. She gave me the coordinates earlier. By the way, I'm Adam. Nice... It's fine. When we get there, though, <laughs> Junior here is gonna go through some basic training. I'm not getting killed because he thinks basic field commands aren't trending on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> we'll in uh, I'm loving this game. There's so much fun comedy. That's why I'm not talking. I'm sorry. It's just the dialogue is really is funny. It's a little choppy, a little like corny, but I I'm enjoying the jokes. They're poignant. <clears throat> right, can I finally... Val, how are you paying for all this? Uh, I don't remember. We should be safe here, though. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm a bit skeptical. I promise. All right, so... This area back here will be fine for what we need. Time to work. I do not like her, but go ahead, Corin. You should know the basics. Pause. Okay, Sam, you're going to work Pause. On this. All right, I guess I can do this. Um... So I don't know if this is going to let me restart the game from here or not, uh, but I'm going to leave it here. This game is pretty cool so far. I'm enjoying the game mechanic, even if it does kind of a bit screwy. I might have to adjust the voice calibration a little bit more, because my normal speaking voice apparently goes into the red a lot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, and I might do some custom commands as well. But I like it. I think this game's fun and cool. Uh, and I'm going to enjoy playing some more of this. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you do like it, hit that like button for me. Share and favorite as you see fit. Um, I will try to talk a little more in the other episodes. This was just hard because, like I said, I wasn't sure how the game really worked. And I was kind of taken in by the story a little bit. I was enjoying the references and the comedy and whatnot. Um, but, yes. So thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. Be good to each other.